We're going to switch gears and go back to the forecast. And today we have a cold front coming through. You can see a little indication with some cloud cover, but really no rain to speak of. It is kicking the winds up, already noticing some gusts 20 to 25, and that will relatively be it as a cold front moves through. Now it will bring in some cooler air, very noticeable tonight, and then we'll finish the week, of course, into the weekend cooler. Now our next real rain chance looks to be on Friday with the next system. This will reinforce some cooler air. Nice football weather, but cooler air for the weekend. 65 degrees out there right now in Detroit, a west wind at 12 miles per hour, and again, a few higher gusts. We start to put things in perspective. We actually started mild this morning. 58 are low, 59 is an average high, and we should be about 42, so low 40s for overnight lows, and it looks like we're going to dip even below that tonight with temperatures in the 30s. We're at 63 degrees in Pontiac and overcast, same for Howell, but still seeing some sunshine in Ann Arbor. Down to the south, warmer in Monroe, we're at 68 degrees, and again, some of that sunshine still lingering with the cold front coming through. We're getting a little push again of that west wind. You can see a broken line of showers north of Mount Pleasant right now, and it looks like it will struggle to even survive to hit the tip of the thumb. So it looks like anywhere north of I-69, minimal chance for a sprinkle or a shower. But the cold front already sliding through at this point, and when you step outdoors, you're going to feel again a little, maybe a little bit to cooler, but it's a wind more noticeable than the cooler air. Now behind it, 40s and 50s showing up. So 49 degrees in Minneapolis, 59 in Chicago, an indication that this cold front is a game changer as far as temperatures, just not bringing the moisture with it. So we look at our winds right now, gusting to 24 in Ann Arbor, 26 right now in Windsor, quite breezy out of the uh, northwest right now in Adrian, where it's a 26 mile per hour wind gust. So we can count on winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, probably closer to 15 to 20 sustained. And then as we go through the afternoon and evening up to 25, it'll start to subside just a bit after sunset, but I think it's going to take some time to get through the cold front behind it to get those winds to really die down. So hour by hour forecast shows a clearing sky overnight. High pressure builds right back in tomorrow with sunshine returning. Another cold front comes in for Friday. We're talking about late morning into the afternoon, the chance for showers associated with this cold front. So that does look like a rainmaker for us. High pressure again builds in behind that front and it's going to bring us nice weather for the weekend. Great news for the game, of course, by the time a kickoff. It's an evening kickoff at 730. It is going to be quite cool in the mid 50s by the end of the game, clear and low 50s. Now today we're not talking 70s like recent days, 60s, and I wouldn't be surprised if our temperatures drop a bit through the course of the afternoon, especially for areas west of Detroit with the cold front. Clear and cold tonight. Look at that. We're in the 30s tomorrow morning. 50s for highs for a much cooler day on Thursday, Friday the rain, and then dry and cool for the upcoming weekend.